Hey guys, welcome back to Global Motors Arena. If you're drawn to the Toyota Highlander SUV but feel that it isn't quite big enough for your family, the 2024 Grand Highlander might be the answer you're looking for. It earns its grand naming convention not for its style, features, or luxury appointments, but because it's a stretched version of the current Highlander. The Grand Highlander offers more space for people and cargo inside its elongated body, with most of the stretch going to a roomy third row. Three powertrains are offered, starting with a turbocharged 2.4-litre four-cylinder. Two different hybrid powertrains are offered as well, including a 362 HP variant called Hybrid Max. A host of driver assistance features is standard, and the Grand Highlander is offered only in upscale XLE, Limited, and Platinum trims, so perhaps it is a bit grander in that way after all. Although it uses the Highlander name, the Grand Highlander will be a new addition to the Toyota lineup when it goes on sale sometime in late 2023. Only three trims are offered on the Grand Highlander, so those hoping for a cheap L all the trim won't find those options on the list. The entry-level trim is the XLE, a designation typically given to mid-range Toyota models. We think it's the one to go with, as it comes well equipped with features such as power adjustable heated front seats, a 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen, a wireless smartphone charging pad, a power operated lift gate, and a suite of driver assistance features. Three different powertrains are offered in the Grand Highlander, including two shared with the regular Highlander model. The standard setup is a 265 HP turbocharged 2.4 litre four cylinder with either front or all wheel drive and an 8 speed automatic transmission. The base Grand Highlander Hybrid uses the same hybrid powertrain as the Highlander Hybrid, which combines a 2.5 litre four cylinder and two electric motors to make a combined 243 horsepower. The top spec offering will include the hybrid max powertrain that pairs the turbocharged 2.4 liter with an electric motor for a net 362 horsepower. Toyota says the Grand Highlander can hit 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds and can tow up to 5,000 pounds with the hybrid max setup. While the EPA hasn't released fuel economy estimates for the Grand Highlander yet, Toyota says the 2.5-litre hybrid will be the most fuel-efficient and expects a 34 mpg combined rating. When we get a chance, we'll test the Grand Highlander's fuel economy for ourselves on our 75 mph highway fuel economy route. The Grand Highlander comes by the grand part of its name honestly, with a roomier cabin than the standard Highlander model. The third row benefits most from the Grand Highlander's larger size and boasts enough space for fully grown adults. The Grand Highlander's interior styling is different, too, including a more symmetrical dashboard design. The XLE is the Grand Highlander's entry-level model, and it comes with plenty of convenience features that family buyers will appreciate, including a power-operated lift gate, heated front seats, second row window shades, and a host of USB and power outlets throughout the cabin. When equipped with a second row bench seat, there's space for eight passengers, but those seeking a seven seat arrangement will be able to swap that bench out for captain's chairs. All models come with a 12.3 inch infotainment touchscreen running Toyota's latest software interface. A 7.0 inch digital display in the gauge cluster is also standard, but limited and platinum models get a larger all-digital 12.3-inch gauge display. Buyers will also find a wireless smartphone charging pad on every model. An 11-speaker JBL stereo upgrade is offered on limited and platinum models. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, keep on learning and exploring. See you in the next video.